Hello, good evening, Jan Pa Thanputon, and my show is, as you can see, English in the Garden. I'm not in my garden, but rather I'm inside my library. And today I have a book to uh, share with you. It's the latest book that I purchased. I bought this one from a uh, local bookstore by the name of Asia Book. Uh, in a shopping mall not far from my house and this one I think it's a famous book everybody knows I suppose by Klaus Schwab and uh, the title of which is a Stakeholder Capitalism uh, coming out uh, this year actually around uh, February 2021 it's a great book so what a Klaus Wolf and uh, Peter Wareham with uh, his co-author, what they are suggesting is a new economic model that would help make the people uh, I mean the people of the of the world and the earth itself sustainable. They are actually moving away from the shareholder capitalist model, state capitalist model, to this new one, the stakeholder capitalism. So what they are suggesting is that uh, every stakeholder uh, should take part in the decision-making process in any economic uh, activity or any development project. So um, there's a collaboration between uh, different uh, stakeholders, the government, uh, including the, 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 the central government, the local uh, people, the local community should take part in the decision-making process. Another stakeholder would be the companies or enterprises. That's the second function. And we need to take into, I mean, according to Schwab, we need to take into consideration uh, another stakeholder that is the international community like the UN, uh, G20, so on and so forth, and also the you know this is something that I I found very interesting. We need to actually take into consideration the civil societies uh, like the um, uh, human rights uh, you know groups. NGOs. So these are stakeholders uh, that will have to, you know, put into the equation. So it's a new, um, what we call economic model for us to, you know, to explore further. And for me, I found the book uh, interesting and it's worth having a good a closer look into the details. And I'm not sure whether this particular concept is practical, it will be uh, implemented successfully or not. But I wish it could because the world is facing many problems and we need to uh, take into considerations uh, I mean just everybody every stakeholder in a given situation or given economic context should take part in the decision making process it's not just the government or the big companies but everybody including uh, local communities should take part in the decision-making process. It requires uh, 
democratic principle. You know, so we need democracy. We also need to have um, accountability and partnership and collaboration. This is for the sake of our sustainability, like climate change. Uh, we cannot, I mean, no single uh, state or economy can solve the problem on his or her own, on its own. It needs to um, work collaboratively with, other, with others. So stakeholder capitalism by uh, Krauss and Peters. I think I actually talked to Peter Wareham on the internet. Actually, he asked me where I got the book from. Actually, it's good to have a close conversation with the author of the book. I'm still learning it because I'm not an uh, economist. So it is, but the book is very accessible. Even the it's not technical, and it's very much the uh, the ideas behind the the book that's I think is really interesting. So if you have a chance, don't forget to grab this one. Uh, stakeholder capitalism, a new economic model for the 21st century. Is the, the book is what I like about the book is that is is new and it has discussed um, several aspects of COVID-19 in the book as well. Thank you very much. I'm Jan Patat Putong, and this is my show, English in the Garden. Oh. English in the Garden. If you like my show, subscribe to my channel, Jan Pa channel. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. And it's a good book. This is hardcover. Actually, I really like it. I hope you have a chance to, you know, grab the book and read it sometimes.